Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as what? Epic Fantasy, that's right. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a fun project, a uh, foam board sword project. This is the cross guard lightsaber. <laughs> I like this project a lot. Um, once they put the cross guard on the lightsaber, all of a sudden it became like a long sword. It's kind of neat. I really like it. Easy project to make. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. Two sheets of foam board. You could even do this with cardboard if you wanted to. Some paint and some glue and that's it. And I've got it all figured out for you. I got the template. Two different sizes. The regular size here that you see that fits on a single piece of foam board makes it very easy for you to make. I also have an oversized larger one that's quite a bit larger um, <clears throat> that um, you can make. But that one takes a little bit of a stitching together of the pieces to make the blade, the, the blade long enough. If you want either one of those templates, you can go to my website. The link is in the description of the video down below. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, hit that button. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right. Um, print up the template. There's, some, there's two pages to it. It's a pretty easy template. And cut out the pieces. Now, if you have trouble with more delicate or smaller cuts, you can always use an, an X-Acto knife rather than a pair of scissors. It's particularly around these little edges like that if you want it to look good. So you end up with six pieces. That's it. Easy template. But don't put it together yet. Take the handle piece here and lay that in the two opposite corners of your foam board. One up here and trace it. And then one down in the other opposite corner and trace it. And I'll show you in a second why the opposite corner is like this. So now let's put together the um, actual full template. That's part one and part two and part three. And then parts A, B, and C. And make sure that blade is nice and straight like this. Mine is a little crooked. See, I straightened it out before I taped it. Oh no, I taped it. But straighten it out, make it nice and straight before you tape it, and then tape it all together. And now you have your template. See, and this is why the opposite corners. So now you can place that sword piece, that whole sword template, diagonally on your foam board and trace it out. And now we need two of them, so grab another piece of foam board, put the template on that, and trace it out again. And so you end up with four pieces of uh, sword. Cut all those four pieces out. Two handle pieces and two of the full sword pieces. There you go. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Simple assembly. If you've never made one of my projects before, this one might be a good one to do. So let's glue them together. You glue the two sword pieces together like this, one on top of the other, and then glue the handle pieces on. One on top, and they're a perfect match so you know exactly where to put them. Flip it over and glue one on the other side too. The sword is now officially built. From here, we'll clean it up and then we'll do the painting. I'm going to show you a neat technique for painting this. So, there's um, because of the cuts you made and because of the assembly of gluing together, you might want to sand it down a little bit, sand the edges to smooth it all out. Now, take your template, lay it on the handle like this. And now we're going to trace all of those interior lines on the handle. You use a blunted pencil and press firmly like this. What we're doing is we're making an imprint in the foam board so we can know where the pattern is. This way you don't have to figure it out. I've got it all figured out for you. So just imprint all of those like this and then you can remove that template and you will see those embedded lines. You can't see them very well in the video but you can see them with your eye and then draw them out. And this way you'll know how to paint it.
There you go, you've transferred the pattern. Now all those lines you just drew, cut them with a sharp knife, an X-Acto knife, a hobby knife. Just cutting through the top layer of paper, you're not cutting deep into the sword, you just want to break the paper. And then take a toothpick or something similar and, um, and, and, and put it in those cuts you made to make a nice groove. And then take a pencil, a blunted pencil, and do it again. So we're opening up those grooves and we're putting like the black uh, graphite in those, in those grooves to make it look good. But it's a nice little technique. It's very metallic in, in look, like assembled metal. So paint, use a small paintbrush and paint black in all of those grooves so the paint gets in there so you don't see any of the white foam. And then paint the whole handle black. And now we're going to use it, and then we're going to use a technique to make this handle of this lightsaber look like metal. And that's a technique of dry brushing. So use silver paint. If you don't have silver, you can use a light gray. Dip your brush in the silver paint and then dab and wipe off most of the paint like this. You want your brush to actually be dry. That's called dry brushing. There's almost no paint on that brush. And then very lightly go over your um, the handle like this. And see how slowly the silver paint is starting to uh, show up on the handle? So yeah, just keep at it. Uh, take your time with it, don't worry about it. Very little paint, and see it's got that nice look to it. It's like a scratched metal surface. Put a little bit more paint on your brush, dab it off like this, and then go for a little bit more. But it's light brushing, and um, that, this technique is called dry brushing. So keep at that and uh, until you get it as silver as you want it. But you have the black base underneath is what really makes this um, look. I like it. Now in the next shot you'll see how mine ended up. See how silver that is? Very nice. So use some silver paint and some black paint and do a little bit of detail work. You could even use a sharpie if you wanted, a pencil. Just have some fun with at this point. And that's just about done there. The handle's just about done. So now we're going to paint the blade. You can use regular acrylic paints. You need yellow, red, and orange. Or you can use spray paints, yellow, red, and orange. I'm going to go with the spray paints. Mask off your handle if you're using spray paint. And this is how you do it. Lay a, put in a base layer of orange, a base layer of red, and then a base layer of yellow. Just lightly spraying them. And now we're going to get up close like this. And put in a line of those colors. See, it's more focused when you get up close with the spray paints. That's if you use spray paints. And that's it. Let it dry. <clears throat> Remove your tape mask. And if you have some kind of a sealant, seal it off. A crystal clear enamel sealant looks really good on this. Do the blade and the handle and that's it. Your cross guard lightsaber is done. Let's take a closer look. If you make this project, be sure to send me a picture. I will put the picture on my website and I will send you a certificate of contribution. I like it. Fun project. These, um, those spray paints really make a big difference. It's really kind of got a fluorescent kind of look to it. Thank you. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.